Hi everybody, welcome to my Daisy PC local server. So this is the version of Daisy I have running um, on my uh, my PC for testing and gameplay um, footage purposes, trying out mods, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I recently got a question about how you can run multiple versions of local servers on your local PC. You know, could you have like Chernerus and Livonia and the Mouth and all that sort of stuff? And the answer to that is is yes, yes, of course you can. Um, but it's probably a little bit easy to explain if we go and look at the server itself. So here we go. So your local server, you'll probably know this already, but it's in, tends to be in like C program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. And there we see there's my Daisy server. Now, when you set up a Daisy server, and I'm imagining, well, I'm assuming that you've already set up your Daisy server. I tell you what. What I'll do is in, in the description below this video, I'll put a link to my video about how to set up a local server. But I'm assuming you've already got a local server running and you want to have different sort of servers running. And the mistake that people make, they tend to do something like they'll copy the whole server. So they'll have Daisy Server 1, like Daisy Server, then they'll have Daisy Server Chernerus, and Daisy Server Namalsk or something like that. And you end up with all these Daisy servers on your hard drive. Um, now you can do that. There's, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But what it does do is it takes up an awful lot of hard drive space because you've got to copy across, for example, all of the uh, the mods, and you've got to copy across all of the keys and all of the mission files. So you start eating up a chunk of hard drive space. And when it comes to updating mods and missions and, and XMLs and stuff like that, it suddenly starts to become really complicated because you've got all these servers that you've kind of got to maintain on your local computer. But you don't need to do that. Um, and the reason being is that it's all to do with your start file, so your batch file, and your DZ uh, config file, or your config file of the server. So basically what you can do is you can edit your start files and your config files so that they give your server different instructions um, in order to start with different things. Again, let me go in and let me sh let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So if we open my standard batch file, so this is my normal batch file, and this is the this is the line we're we're worried about. And so what we're really interested in in this this um, document here is this bit here which is on the start line, which tells the server which mods to start with. And this line here, which tells the server which config file to look at. So we know in order to start the server, we double click on the, on your batch file, your windows.bat file, and it will fire up the server. But now we can see, oh, wait a minute. So we could have different versions of the batch file, which could start the server with different mods in, nice and easy. But we could also refer to different these server dz.configs and if we can refer to different server dz.configs we can set up those uh, config files to have different maps in them so let's open up the server dz config the normal one so the normal one you'll see if you go down to the bottom is the template here template equals daisy offline.chernerus plus so this is this is kind of a standard one so when you when you hit the dot batch file it's going to start uh, daisy server.exe with um, a community framework and Zombri Ambrin tools. It'll tell the server to look at uh, serverdz.config and among other things it'll start it, start it with Chernerus Plus. So if you want to have a different map all you need to do is have another uh, batch file. So for example here we have another batch file start um, Z ZB for Zombri Livonia. So let's open that one and let's have a look. So the difference here is that it still starts with Zombri admin tools and CF, but I tell the uh, server to look at serverdzlib.config instead. So this config file here, if we edit this one, we'll see if we go down to the bottom. This one, the template is daisy offline.enoch. So that means the server is being told to start with the Enoch mission file. Um, and so you can do this. So, for example, here I've got a start as uh, uh, start with Zombri and, and Chernerus, start with Zombri and Livonia, start with Zombri and Namalsk. However, to make life even easier, so you're not constantly editing your batch file, here we have start Zombri uh, Chernerus with the Helis mod. Um, so if we open up this one, we can see this one, 
the difference is all I've added in is add red, red falcons flight systems helis so this this batch file this uh, windows start file will say look server start with these mods and then look at this server dz.config for for the maps um, and then you can even have something like this so if we look at this one so in this one it tells the server to start with um, the trader mod and red falcons flight systems helis um, and then look in server dz.config for for the particular map you're going to use so you can end up with lots and lots of different uh, start files different batch files um, and lots of different daisy config files as well dot cfgs so it's dot bats and and dot cfgs and that means that by using these you don't need to have lots of different installations of the server on your local pc you just have the one server file with your your um, um, mods in there with all the keys in there and also this this can apply to Davies daisy server experimental as well you know if you run the experimental server you could have lots of different um, batch files and lots of different config files for testing different mods different combinations of things without having to constantly go into your dot bat file your windows bat file and edit it because it's always easy to make a mistake now something else that you can do as well is that whenever you fire up on a, a batch file it will fire up um, a server so it does mean that you can have different servers running at the same time so let me show you so if we, if we come out of here we exit that and we exit that and so at the moment we've got you can see we've got this we've got this server running here so what we could do is we could if we just do uh, Lemalsk so let's double click that one so that will start that up and then if we go back to the launcher and we refresh the launcher we'll see, now ignore this Namalsk minute because I haven't adjusted those but there we go so map name Namalsk and that map, map name Chernerus Plus and I could just uh, so I could just click join set up DLC mods and join let's give it a couple of seconds and if, if we look at the bottom you'll see there's two versions of everything running Dum -dum 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 -dum. in we go slowly but surely we're almost there you can change this can't you in global so I have to get around to doing that to make my logging in and logging out a little bit faster when I'm on a server here we go hope this works after all this that phantom red line that you watch crawling along the bottom of the screen there we go Oop. we're on the mouse and all your you know, your zombie admin tools all that sort of stuff will kind of work so there we go that my friends is how you can have multiple different local servers running on your PC now if you do this where you have multiple servers running at the same time I'm not quite sure why you'd want to do that I guess you can switch back and forwards between well you can't really switch back and forwards because you, you can only have one version of DayZ running at the same time um, but there's obviously going to be a performance hit for doing that because your computer is, is running all these things at the same time but just just remember just carefully go through and have a different batch file that starts um, your server with different mods and within that batch file refer to different dot uh, cfgs and then within those dot cfgs that's where you refer to a different map okay so hopefully that video is useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon